My name is Dan Mobley. I'm with Oglethorpe Marble and Granite Company, East Broad Marlburg Street, Savannah, Georgia. And we've been in this location since 1927 and went in business in April of 1907. Still at it. I'm in the history business. This is history. The history of this woman is on this stone. Okay? So I'm in the history business. And I look at history, I like history. And I have some of the older tools here, and I have, when we first started using sandblast, you bought rubber in a pound block, and you cut it up small, uh, you melted it, you painted it on the face of the stone, and then you applied the lettering, you drew it out with a pencil by hand, then you went back with a knife and cut it out, and then you could sandblast it. This is simple. I got into this business to start with in 1962. Um, I was dating the young lady who later became my wife, and her father was in this business. Then, uh, all of this was done by hand, and I learned a great deal from him over the years doing this by hand. This is the last le class name. So rather than put A-N-D, it would, would spell and, we put the, the big, made the, um, the last name initial larger and put it in the middle, like you would see on a, a pillowcase or something like that. And it, now it doesn't spell and. But it, you know, just, you have to look at things for a lot of different ways. The, these bricks are the last batch that we've done um, of bricks that are going to be used at the World War II Memorial downtown. People buy these uh, I'm not aware of how much, but anyway, they purchase these, we letter them, supply them to them, um, and this is, money is being used to pay for the monument. It bothers me to go out to the cemeteries, and I do that daily, and you run across graves out there that are, that are old, some of them 30, 40, 50 years old, and there's no stone on them to mark them. And, and that bothers me personally that, that uh, they didn't get marked. And, you know, don't ever give up hope, though, because um, a few years back, we put up a stone on the 100th anniversary of the death of the couple. And that was because when they died, uh, they ended up being buried in a pauper's field. And they had small children who had no money, and they were new to town and had no relatives here. So uh, the family stayed in town. Uh, grew and multiplied, and eventually one of the granddaughters uh, came here and purchased a stone, and we put it up on the 100th anniversary of their death. So, never give up.